Guys, today we are going to talk about the most important chart and it's crazy because people are not paying attention to this right now. I was not paying too much attention to it either, but I'm going to explain exactly what this means for Bitcoin. We're talking about what the whales are doing, talking about Bitcoin on longer, on shorter time frames, everything you need to know right now. Also, we got massive news coming out of Mexico. So yes, guys, this is a video you will not want to miss. Welcome back everybody, my name is Cristiano bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And with that said guys, let's get straight into it. So first here on the weekly time frame for Bitcoin guys, you can see that we have a couple of days left until we close this candle right now. It's going to look like we uh, are going to close this candle below this red line, meaning that we made a nice push here, but we weren't able to break through this massive resistance. And if you watched my video yesterday, you know that there is a massive situation coming up because if I flip on the 100 EMA, you can see that we are going to have a squeeze here. And this is going to bring a lot of volata uh, volatility for Bitcoin. Either going to have to break this to the downside or break this uh, resistance line to the upside. So we keep watching that, guys. We keep watching that. But on the uh, four hourly time frame, not much has changed. We are still being supported by the orange box here. So we're still being supported here. Nothing else has happened um, in comparison to my video yesterday on the four hourly time frame. On the daily time frame, though, we have had a bounce off of this important support level. If I flip on the RSI, let's see here. Yes, of course, also we uh, um, kind of bounced off of this support level on the RSI. So these two are very important to keep track of guys these are very important to keep track of you can see the importance of the rsi you can see how it is being respected the rsi is respecting both of those levels and also on the price of course we do have this uh, wedge or triangle whichever you want to call it you can uh, uh, make it from uh, the wicker and you can draw this down like this meaning it's more like a triangle, which is fair. I, I mean, I guess we can adjust that and consider it a triangle like this because I'm on the Gemini exchange, which uh, does not have that much liquidity on the charts. And I've seen on most other exchanges, it's looking more like a triangle. So let's keep this as a triangle like this. It's a matter of time until we break this as well. This can go on for quite a while longer, like May, uh, at the very latest, I would say, but probably middle of April is realistic that we are going to have a breakout before the middle of April. So we keep watching this, guys. Very important to keep track of. Now, before I talk about these extremely important charts, of course, if you want to start trading yourself, you can claim 4530 over on Bybit, $8,000 over on Seat Trade, uh, $3,500 over on Femex. If you want to earn passive income in your crypto, you got the Axe Exchange. And if you want to trade options, you are able to do that on the Delta Exchange. So let's jump into it. This is a chart you are already familiar with. This is tracking what the whales are doing and what the small fish are doing. And what you can see here is that recently we have had the small fish continue to accumulate a lot of Bitcoin, but the whales have stopped buying here recently. The last week or so, the whales have not increased their holdings. Now, let's jump over to this chart. So this is a similar chart, but what this is showing us is the small fish up here and the whales down here and how much their holdings have changed from 2020. So October of 2020, this is when the bull run really started for this cycle. So just for some perspective, let's go to, what was that, October 2020. So it should be somewhere down here. Uh, yes, right here. So right before we saw this big run up for Bitcoin, it's tracking what the small fish up top and the whales were doing from that point. And then you have the price. Uh, the, the price determines the color of the, of the chart here. And then the higher, the bigger the change. And what you can see is that the whales were accumulating a lot of Bitcoin uh, running into the beginning of 2020. And then they have gone down until they bought the bottom here, of course, accumulated Bitcoin at the bottom in May of 2021. But now for the last couple of months, I would say it has been going sideways. They had a little bit of a run up here where they accumulated Bitcoin. But since pretty much mid-February, the whales have not been accumulating Bitcoin. In fact, they have uh, started to decrease their holdings here, 2.5%. You can see that they were at 2.5% here somewhere in mid-February. 
now they are going down. The changes are going down. But look at this. The small fish are accumulating Bitcoin like crazy. This is a hockey stick like up until the right. So this is important because I think there is a bigger thing to keep watching here. What does this mean? Well, it means that people which are not whales are accumulating Bitcoin. They are buying Bitcoin. And what this is telling me is that with this amount of increase in their holdings, we are actually looking at mass adoption of Bitcoin here, guys. And of course, with what El Salvador is doing, what, uh, with everything that's going on, with the wars and all of the uncertainty, inflation, the small fish, the everyday people, they are accumulating Bitcoin like crazy here. So you're actually seeing mass adoption here take place. This is how I am looking at the chart, at least. Let me know what you think about this, but I don't see it in any other way. You're actually looking at mass adoption. Sure, the whales are still in control of the market. If they want to dump the market tomorrow, they will be able to do that. But over time, this is what is going to matter. The small fish, the people, the everyday Joes out there working hard, trying to, you know, make a better life for themselves, accumulating Bitcoin. This is what is going to drive Bitcoin to new all time highs, guys. And so for as long as we see this trend, I am pretty confident in my Bitcoin bags, guys. Very, very confident indeed. Now, I want to round off this video by saying that we have some news from uh, the Mexican news, this is a Twitter account, saying that Mexico is about to declare Bitcoin as legal tender. So they say updates to come as story develops. Now, this account has 3,000, uh, not even 3,000, 1,300. So you should probably be pretty careful here. And especially if you go down here when someone was asking for, yeah, basically pointed out that, you know, you should probably question the credibility here. They start cursing and stuff. So I mean, take this for what it is. Maybe um, it is actually true. Maybe it is not. But one thing I want to point out is that usually when you have uh, massive news, massive breaking news, they usually break on smaller uh, accounts before the mainstream media starts to pick up on it. So, I mean, I'm not discrediting it uh, 100%, but just know that, yeah, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But uh, yeah, you just have to keep that in mind, guys. If it is true, of course, it is going to be huge and it is going to drive even more in this kind of chart where uh, regular people are buying Bitcoin and holding Bitcoin and accumulating it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.